The last time we looked at a compression or extraction program, so this time we're going to look at another one of the most popular programs in that department. This is Leo from Fall Critic, and today we'll be taking a look at the latest version of WinRAR. WinRAR comes with a very small installer. It's a very simplistic process, just uh, 1.8 megabyte file. And once you've installed it, it automatically opens all your RAR, ZIP, and other archive formats. Now it doesn't come with as intuitive of an interface as um, some of the other programs like WinZip, but what it does do is it gives you really nice context menu options. So you want to add anything to an archive, you can just start right away. And then what you can do is you can add the archive name, you can select the format. It supports RAR, RAR5, and ZIP formats. You can select the compression method to um, either make the compression process really quick or you want the best possible compression which is going to reduce the file size. And you can change the dictionary size as well, whatever number of kilobytes you want it to be. And you can split it up into volumes to create a multiple you know, to create multiple archives that are going to extract into this, the same files. Now, it also has different update modes, so you can add um, and update files or replace files. Lots of options here, and uh, it does have some other archiving options as well. You can delete the files after they're archived so that you don't have any duplicates. Now in the advanced options you have um, say file security, NTFS options, uh, you can turn your PC off when it's done so if you're doing a pretty big project or something like that you don't necessarily have to wait for it to finish. And then you've got other options, uh, files to add, of course this is going to be automatically selected if you right click and add files and it also has some backup options. And that's how you can create an archive. I just archived three files into uh, this RAR file and uh, we're going to take a look at some of the other features that it has in terms of extraction. Their interface is not as simple as some other programs like WinZip which can be understood by any level of user. This may not seem very easy to use at first, but that's why they have a wizard. So if you're unsure of what you want to do, you can always go to the wizard and uh, you can select a destination and this will guide you through the process step by step. If you already know what you're doing, it's really simple. You can just drag and drop these files anywhere you want. You can extract them. You can update the archive. Pretty much a lot of stuff. You can also convert an archive to a self-extracting one. And um, this is a really nice feature that I really like, especially being a security enthusiast. You can actually select a far scanner to scan the archive. So you can um, set the destination and the scanner name and it's going to automatically do a scan, which is really good for security. You can look for a particular file in the archive. If you've got a really big archive, you can test the archive to make sure that all the files are truly intact. And it has other options too. If you do have some errors, you can repair the archive. It also allows you to do a benchmark, which is cool. And you've got your favorites as well. You can add uh, you know, any archive to your favorites and easily access them. And um, it has a really nice Windows Explorer kind of thing as well, where you can completely move around your computer and uh, look for your archives anywhere. And it's automatically going to open the archive once you double click on it. So once you get used to it, this interface is pretty neat. Another really nice thing that WinRAR can do is protect your archive from damage. You can select a recovery record size and uh, you can even disable archive modifications which is going to completely lock down the archive and it, it has a really nice visual representation here as well. 
I just wish that um, they made these representations a bit more easy to use for an everyday user. Maybe have something on the side over here in this interface, which would be a bit more helpful than, you know, going into some interface and then looking at the information. If you could just see it on the right hand side in a sidebar, it would be much more handy. Now, when it comes to settings, WinRAR comes with a pretty advanced uh, settings menu. You can select uh, low priority if it's taking up too much of your resources. You can enable or disable multi-threading. You can keep change your history settings. You've got options for the toolbar. It's very much customizable and uh, I really like that. It's a really nice tool for advanced users. It allows you to do a lot of stuff and pretty much customize everything that this program does. And you can even wipe your temporary files. But once again, I'd like to stress here that um, for really inexperienced users, all the advanced features may not be easy to use at first, so you need to do a bit of exploration. But it, once you get to know it, it does give you a lot of options and it does have a lot of features which are not always immediately apparent. So there you have it. That's my overview of WinRAR. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do check out our written review at www.filecritic.com. And I'll see you in the next one. This is Leo, signing out.